You know, uh, you know. First off, I obviously say that it's always uh, you know tough losing a guy. Um, so prayers out to JJ and uh, you know, hope everything's all right there. But you know, it's just uh, it's just excitement. Um, you know, uh, I dealt with this a little bit at Iowa. You know, next man in and always being prepared and uh, you know ready to go. So you know, as always, next guy up and uh, I'm ready to go in there to help however I can. How would you compare this last month of the season for you versus the first couple? Like maybe your head was swimming a little bit with this position change. Yeah, I think it just. Uh, you know, it just shows what the rookie season is. You know, I feel like uh, in this business, uh, a lot of people are quick to judge and, uh, you know, as expected, want instant results. But, um, you know, in a transition like I had coming from uh, Iowa and playing uh, like interior D line and, uh, you know, a lot of different technique to come into Green Bay and kind of changing my technique and learning a different defense. I had a lot of hurdles to get over. And uh, I felt like, especially the last you know month or two, I've been able to put together and play a lot more free and go out there and just have fun, which at the end of the day, we're playing a children's game. So that's, you know, that's what the goal is. Um, you know, just uh, so, uh, you know, this is where the, the best football is needed. So, you know, I just, we require everyone to go out there and uh, especially this time of the year when you're playing January football, when it's meaning, meaningful, I can't even talk. Gotcha. Meaningful football. This is uh, when you want to play your best. Forget about the outside noise. Did it test your patience the first couple of months? Like, were you wanting things to come quicker than maybe they were? Yeah, you know, I've uh, I've always been hard on myself, and uh, you know, especially there in the beginning of the season, I was hard on myself, just not producing and getting it as fast as I want to. But again, it's just all part of the process. Um, just understanding that. I came in a position where, you know, I had a guy like RG who uh, went through it before me and was able to kind of talk through that and explain that, you know, there's a learning curve to it and, uh, you know, everything's going to be all right. So he's just been a, a great mentor, obviously a great locker mate right here next to me. And uh, he's really helped me get through that process and kind of develop my mind to be able to take a lot of that pressure. What are those things that you have been able to put together these past couple of months, especially with that steep transition that you were facing from the technique standpoint? What, what, what's, what have you been able to put together to kind of get used to? Football IQ, uh, knowledge of the game, uh, having an understaff, uh, uh, understanding of a pre-snap process, um, just expecting what I'm going to get every single play. Um, I think uh, you know this past half year I've gotten down to that three point, feel a lot more comfortable with my get off and my pass rush. Um, but like you said, you know this is just a starting point. There's so much more to learn, um, and uh, I'm excited to continue to grow. Did you almost lose your balance on that sack? You, you rushed hard up field, was kind of a bull, and you were able to. It looked like you were able to kind of keep your feet and yep. finish the play. What, 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 what happened? Well, I was uh, you know going against Tyron, and even even this week with. Uh, you know, seven to one and Trent, they got over there. You know, it's uh, this is why we play the game, go out there and compete and, uh, you know, test your abilities. And uh, he, he was able to kind of knock my hands down and get me off balance there. But I was able to keep my feet and kind of come around and make that sack at, a, you know, a good point in the game there. So, uh, you know, credit to him. He kind of got, got me off balance. But at the end of the day, I was able to get around and get that. How important is it, has it been for you to develop that second move when the first might not go right being able to respond and react? You always got to have a backup plan, you know, and if, with anything in life. Um, if it doesn't go right at first, you got to have a backup with what you're going to do. So that's uh, that's an important part of our game. Um, you know, as as Rev would say, it's always like playing checkers out there. Uh, our chess, not checkers, excuse me. And uh, so you, you have your first move. That doesn't work. You got to abort and go to your second. When you look at the tape of what Baltimore did to San Francisco, what can you take from that and, and use for you guys? You know, ultimately, I'm not I'm not worried about you know anybody outside of what we're doing inside this building. Um, I think this is a mirror week for us. Um, this is an assignment uh, alignment keys game. This is an effort game. Um, you know, this is a preparation game, and uh, we're just worried about what's going on inside this locker room. You know, making sure the guys are ready to go here on Saturday, and uh, I think the rest will take care of it. How similar is their offense to kind of what you guys run? Obviously, they come from the same tree, run a similar style of offense. Is it? Pretty close. Um, you know, I haven't uh, been able to play our offense since the summer, for the most part. You know, but uh, yeah, there's some similarities here and there. Um, and uh, you know, again, I've only you know been you know experienced in this system for what about half a year now, so I'm still learning. You know what Coach Lafleur likes to do, but um, yeah, I see a lot of similarities. You know, they're um, you know they're just a, a tough physical team who's going to try to you know go out and uh, you know beat the guy across from you. So again, I think this is just uh, a big week for you know for for us internally just uh, going out there and do what we do, play hard, play fast, play physical, we'll be all right. How big are your eyes, especially with the, the motion they run? Is that is that going to be the key is make sure your eyes and your feet are in the same spot? As always, of course, as always. Um, you know, they got a lot of motion, try to get you uh, guessing and uh, 
you know, a lot of different looks, a lot of different personnel packages. But um, I think we'll be prepared. I think our eyes will be right come uh, come Saturday night. Lucas, you mentioned uh, what kind of games this is going to be and all that, but it's also a tackling game, right? Quarterback's one thing, McCaffrey's another. What have you seen from him on tape? What have the guys told you about how difficult of a guy he is to face? Uh, you know, uh, I have a lot of respect for Christian. Everybody knows who he is. He's uh, he's talented out there on the field, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, this, this late in the season, uh, Everybody uh, out there on the field has had a fair amount of uh, experience going out and making some tackles, and I'm confident in our guys. Last time, last time you guys played Brock, I think you guys won 27-17, but you were with Iowa, you picked him off three times. Did you think he'd become what he is today <laughs> when you played him that day? Hey, it goes to show you never really know uh, what people can develop into or will they'll be. Uh, you know, be down the road. So uh, that's just always a reminder on the daily process, uh, you know, regardless of, of who it is, just try not to judge them, you know, here and now, because you never know where they came from or where they're going to be. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, he's an Iowa State guy. You know how I feel about that. So I'm, I'm excited. Might you remind him of that game? Some results in the rookie season. With that said, you had a sack week one and you had a pretty good year. How, how different of a player do you feel now where you were in the season? It's, uh, it's hard to put into words, you know, it's just not even as a player, as a person, I've matured so much, um, really grown up. Um, I, uh, I'm light years ahead of where I was a year ago. What would you say is your biggest key to this defensive turnaround for the last month or so? Just belief in the process, um, you know, ignoring the outside noise, um, you know, believing in Coach Barry and his defense and, you uh, you know, I think I think we all knew we had the talent and the ability to go out there and succeed. It was just, uh, you know, getting all the pieces together. And I, I think these last couple of weeks we've been able to bring it together. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can keep this going here on Saturday. Might you remind Brock of that uh, Iowa, Iowa State game that he struggled if you get the chance? You know, uh, it, it is hard because so we have Anthony Johnson in the locker room. He, uh, <laughs> I actually lost a loss against Iowa State my last year. But outside of that, you know, we've... Uh, you know, one every year outside of that. That Cyclone Trophy belongs uh, in, in Iowa City, but did have two block punts against them. So well, you on, an on Anthony Johnson. Yeah, you pull one out on <laughs> Saturday, it'll make things even for right. what happened two years ago. That's the goal, right? Yeah. Hey, Lucas, really quick, just about the three-point stance. Now, where did that kind of come from? Was that something Rebs brought to you? or just how did they, you they always gave him that option. It was just uh, at first I just wanted to get comfortable, you know, understanding what was going on, getting a better vision of the offense. But as, got, as I've gotten more comfortable and able to slow down what's going on, the pace of, uh, you know, the pace of play, I've been able to kind of get back down to that stance and still have a good understanding of what I'm getting, what's, you know, what's coming.